My name is Adrian Nanchev, and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads. Now, what kind of habits should you develop as an entrepreneur? There's only really, you can develop as many habits as you want, but the main two habits you need are expanding your comfort zone and expanding your knowledge. You can have as many habits as you want for time management or productivity, but what matters the most is your comfort zone and your knowledge. Your comfort zone, because it's your tenacity, it's your daring, your daring to do more and be more and create more. <sighs> I started a business back two years ago, back in August 2015. Uh, started like doing the research in mid-August and was launched by end of September. As a case study, there was absolutely no fear, no doubt, no nothing. It was just go, 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 go. ASAP. I wanted a launch by mid or mid September, but I, I was delayed. I can't remember. Oh, I failed to get a, the rack developer. Yeah, and it was launched in September, and it's like mm, two weeks late. So um, so the comfort zone is your tenacity. See, my comfort zone back then, had it not been so as big as it was, I, I would have delayed. I would not have started it. I would not have done it, and I would have hesitated or analysis paralysis, all that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Expand your comfort zone daily. I've come to realise I expand my comfort zone one to three times a day. It might be a minuscule amount. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, but it's expanding. Always expand your comfort zone. Because your comfort zone allows you to do more and become more and be more. Because if you don't dare to do more, or dare to start something, or, or dare to buy that book, or go to that place, or whatever, then you'll never succeed. Because you don't dare. You've lost before you before the game even begins if 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 people if the opportunity is over there and you don't even step forward and you even walk even crawl to the opportunity you've lost already somebody else can crawl to the opportunity and if you don't dare step out your place out your comfort zone take a step forward towards that opportunity you'll never get there you know zero zero miles per hour you'll get there never and that guy doing one mile per hour, he'll be there in well, an hour or you know, whatever, how far away it is. Um, another thing then is your, comf uh, your knowledge. Now your knowledge encompasses things like time management and strategies and all the rest. Expand your knowledge, learn more, do more, become more, practice, learn. What are you doing? Figure out what you're doing wrong. Practice and, and, and do something. Because you see, the tenacity is nothing without action, without, without knowledge, without the tools essentially. And the tools are nothing without tenacity. You can have a great mindset, but if you know nothing about business, you won't do anything. You can know all the stuff in the world, you can be you know, a genius, but if you don't dare to act, you'll go nowhere. They go in tangent. And things like sales and marketing and time management and all the rest, that is encompassed in knowledge. Because the more knowledge you have, the better you are. The, be the different tools on your belt of, of entrepreneurship, good tools of time management, marketing, content marketing, uh, sales, create, uh, cre content cre uh, creation, anything. The more of those you've got, the better. The only problem then is you don't want to fall, and I've fallen for this, but I, I, I'm, I, I'm diverting it the last time, or the last possible time, so to speak, is what's called the Einstellung effect. Einstellung E-I-N-S-T-E-L-L-U-N-G, which is German for installation, Einstellung effect, which means that when you learn things, you'll have a certain procedure of, of how to start a business, for example. Let's start a business, let's, let's do X, Y, and Z, A, B, C. And X, Y, Z, A, B, C will be like the standard idea you've got and procedure for everything you do. And that then means that if you... Here's a new business, or we'll do X, Y, Z, A, B, C all over again. You're always thinking of the same ideas for the, for, the, for different for different problems, and like that's not efficient way of approaching it. There might be good strategies, but you need to do research, learn more knowledge, take more uh, everything, so as to then say, okay, rather than X, Y, Z, A, B, C, we can do X, Y, Z, one, two, three, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So get more strategies. You don't want to get stuck on this on the same rhythm of we'll do this then this then that this then this then that 
would they might work but then also take a step back and say I need more ideas I need more ideas to mix things up to do something else because these things could work or could not work but what else is there you don't want to get stuck in the same rhythm the same pattern of, of knowledge and oh we'll do this and this and that no 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 you, you're falling for the iron stolen effect which means which then says well what if something new comes along or a new idea and there might these ideas might only be say 50% effective on this strategy against this idea but this other thing you've not thought about but someone else is applying you just haven't discovered it yet is 70% effective on this business well you need, you need to be humble enough to learn that and say what am I doing wrong what can I do better you know, what can I learn what can I you know, improve upon and then you're saying ah I can do this yes let's do that so your habit of knowledge and habit of of tenacity or comfort zone these go hand in hand reading books non-fiction books biographies business books stuff like that it helps with both of them biographies especially helps with the tenacity because you're then saying you're then looking at someone's journey and then saying this person who ultimately we know today is successful but look at all these challenges you overcame years ago look at all the threats and uh, the, the missed opportunity he had and yet look where he is today you know you know the end story you don't know how he got there but so it's like oh, listen and learn and take your business business books I've got on my Amazon account I've got over a thousand books on my wish list waiting <laughs> waiting to be read and I've got about 200 videos right now on my YouTube watch later on, on different topics you know on uh, hemp or on book writing and a little bit of marketing stuff like that just to go through it bit chipping it away bit by bit to learn more stuff and do more and be able to do more things so those are two main habits and again the knowledge bit can encompass things like time management and behavior and, and daily habits you know getting up early going to bed early, that kind of stuff but then again do you really need to go to bed early mm, not really no mm. so bear that in mind so th those are two main habits that i talk about comfort zone and knowledge so the, my, the question of the day to you is which one of those which one of those two need to focus on more knowledge or comfort zone for me it's knowledge it, you come to realize over time that a lot of the motivational stuff out there is like you can do it you can do it you can do it you can do it and then you realize okay I know that I can do it how do I do it hmm. I know that I can do it thanks a lot I've expanded my comfort zone so many ways now it's like how do I do it that's what I'm more interested in now so what, what, what do you need to focus on more comfort zone or knowledge which one I'm very curious comment below but in the meantime remember remember that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur so go out there today and do something remarkable but in the meantime click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads how cool is that